So I had this great idea of using these slippers that I got that I didn't like very much because they're too thin and sticking a water bottle inside, I could make a gnome with them. They would be called slipper gnomes. And because I only had one pair of slippers at the time, I decided I would try and make my own faux slippers to use for the gnome head. So I took some cardboard that I had on hand and I traced out the slipper on the cardboard. Then I took some more cardboard and tried to make the top of the slipper. But there was a problem and it didn't work out. I'm done. Hey guys, it's Robin with Bird Spies YouTube channel. So this video is here to tell you when the going gets tough, don't give up. Because I ended up going to the Dollar Tree and I found these slippers. So I got these pair and I also got these pair and I decided I would use these to make the gnomes instead of using the thing that I made that didn't work out. If you like videos on hauls, DIYs, try-ons, baking, make sure to subscribe down below and don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified every time I upload. Let's get started guys or let's carry on. So the items I'll be using are slippers, socks, empty water bottles, hot glue, scissors, and pom-poms. Oh, and I also had this uh, faux fur. So first I took off the label of the water bottle and I inserted it into one of the socks. I cut off the tip of the sock and with an elastic, just tied up the elastic and the sock so it's together. Then I put it inside one of the slippers just to see how it looks and how it stands up. So I like that and then I decided to put on the faux fur. Then I did use hot glue. I cut the faux fur into almost like a triangle shape. A little bit more beard shaped, I guess. And stuck that on. And then I decided which pom-pom to use for the nose. So once I had that all together, it was looking like a gnome. And I was trying to decide which color sock to use for the hat and the sweater, but I couldn't decide what would go good with the purple. So I put that to the side and I decided to make a teal color one. So I did the same thing. I took off the label and then I inserted the water bottle to see how it would look. Then I decided on a sock color got it ready with the elastic and everything and then put the slipper on top to see how it would go i then cut out the faux fur i glued it on where i wanted it And then I decided on a nose color. I'm gonna pick green. I liked how it was turning out. So then I decided to put a sock on the top for a hat. And once I decided how I wanted it, I thought that the inside of the hat needed a bit of cushion. To 
going down, you know. Because I thought it was just a bit floppy. So I took some more of that white faux fur. And I glued it on the inside to give it a bit more dimension. And then I glued the two outer sides together. Just to make it a bit more thick looking. Be careful with hot glue. It is very hot. You could burn yourself. And during this project, I did burn myself a few times. So I took a pom-pom and I glued it on the end. Because there was an opening at the top of the slipper, I found that the sock looked like it didn't look poofy enough. So I added some more faux fur at the top of the slipper. And then I put the sock back on and I glued it on top of the slipper, the furry part of the slipper so that it wouldn't fall off. Here's what it looks like. I thought it was really cute. But I wasn't really liking that slipper part sticking out the back so I decided to cut it off. And when I did that I couldn't get it to stand up properly. So I was having problems and then I decided I would just glue that piece that I cut off to the bottom to make some kind of like a little pedestal thing for him to stand on and I couldn't get that to stand up so then I cut it a little bit more and I glued some little like feet at the bottom for him to be able to stand up that way and finally I got it to stand up on its own then I decided to take some more sock material and make two little arms that I could put on either side. And I used little pom-poms as the hands. My little gnome was starting to sh shape up. And I thought he looked so cute. I did have to hold on to the arms a bit to get them to stay. But eventually I got it. Ow, hot glue. Hot glue hurts. that gnome was all finished i decided to work on the other one and i had these really cute thermal socks that i got at dollar tree so i thought i might try using that as the hat and the outfit and i thought it looked really cute so i basically did the same thing except this time i didn't put any like stuffing in the sock hat part I just folded it over because it was a bit thicker and then I used glue to shape it. I actually forgot to use the stuffing in this one but it worked out. So once I got the droopy part of the hat how I wanted it then I just glued it right to the side of the hat so it would kind of hang down and I put a little pom-pom on the end. I actually covered up the purple part because I like the sock with the white at the top of the hat you know so I covered it up and I made sure to glue it down with hot glue. Then I tried different parts of the other sock to see how I liked it the best. And I liked it the best without the white. 
so I put it on and I made sure to glue it. I decided to use the base on this one as well. So I cut it how I wanted it. Then I glued the middle of it so it was more sturdy. And then I just glued the little gnome right on top. It worked really well too. It didn't budge at all. Then I decided on some arms and I had the white part still so i decided to use that to my advantage and make the white part the little hands and so i just cut off a piece of the sock and glued the two sides together and then um, i put it on as little hands little arms and hands so i didn't need to use pom-poms for hands on this one because the white material already look like little hands. Here he is all finished. I absolutely love him. Isn't he cute? So here's the two gnomes that I made. There's this one. And this one. And I used slippers to make it. If you like this video, if you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Take care everybody. Bye for now.